His book is called Letting Go of Stuff. And I want you all to meet uh, Darren Johnson. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Good to Lance. see you. Thank you great. for being here. It's good to be here. I've heard a lot about here. you and um, this whole letting go movement. So I'm excited to have you on the show. <laughs> I like that, a letting go movement. That's yes. great. I love that. <laughs> well, we could get a movement going. Yeah, start I agree. Right here and right now. <laughs> yeah, we we'll start looking at people's uh, storage spaces and those rooms in the in the bedrooms that people don't want anyone else to see. Uh. They've got all their stuff. <laughs> we can help them to uh, clean that out. That'd be great. <laughs> now your background's kind of interesting. You have uh, quite a corporate background. You're mm -hmm. doing training and things like that. T tell us uh, about that and how you got to talking about letting go of stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, my background is in organization development, which really deals with helping organizations to clean themselves out. Yeah. And so the seven steps that I've created come from the, the experiences that I've had as a consultant. And, uh, and so I transitioned from looking at an organization mm -hmm. to focusing more on the individual. Uh -huh. And so I took the organizational concepts and whittled them down to the individual level to help a person to actually move beyond the stuff in their lives. <laughs> and when you say stuff, it's not act, it's not all just the stuff. It's actual stuff mentally as well. <laughs> yeah, it's the mental and emotional stuff yeah. that I'm really talking about. But my theory is that the stuff around us represents the stuff inside of us. Mm -hmm. So if you can go inside and deal with what's inside, it helps you to deal with what's going on around you. It helps declutter your life. It helps to declutter your life. Yeah. So declutter your heart. Declutter your life. <laughs> Unburden yourself. Unburden it, yourself. We'll do as many of these as we can. You say okay. seven steps. Let's walk through a few of them. Okay. The first one is to accept and acknowledge that you have stuff. It's pretty simple, right? Yeah. I can accept that yeah. <laughs> and acknowledge it. <laughs> I and, got stuff. And yet that's the most challenging step. Really? to actually come to grips with the fact that there's something you want to change in your life. Mm -hmm. And so that really becomes very um, comprehensive to actually look at accepting and acknowledging. And if you think about it, anything that you do in your life, the first step is to say, hey, I need to embrace this first before I can let it go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Number so, two. so number two. The number two is <laughs> yeah. to uh, realize that change is necessary. In other words, once you begin to make a change, you go through changes trying to make the change. Simple, right? Yeah. But recognizing that fact really helps you to actually manage yourself through the change right. and to more successfully fulfill whatever the goal is that you want to accomplish. Hmm. And then the third step is to manage your internal conversation. We all talk to ourselves, right? Everybody yeah. talks to ourselves. Probably too much. <laughs> I had a, quite a conversation with myself on the way down to the studio today. So, <laughs> so did I, actually. <laughs> and the key is what we say to ourselves, because that internal conversation is the one that we believe in the most. Mm -hmm. And so if we're telling ourselves good things about, our, about what we want to do with our lives, about the stuff around us, then we actually believe that if we're telling ourselves bad things. We actually believe that too. So those are the first three steps. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious. I see a lot of people, like the, the shows with people that have rooms full of clutter. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. <laughs> I'm guessing they have a lot of stuff they need to let go. <laughs> That's material stuff. That's right? material stuff. But, but it's if also you notice, emotional. Yeah. If you notice in that show, though, and some of those shows, and one in particular, you know, uh, the thing that happens to the individuals is that they first have to break down mm -hmm. before they can actually begin to move through and, and eliminate the stuff in the house or wherever it is that they're trying to clean out. Yeah. And that breakdown, that crying that you see oftentimes is that acceptance, that first step coming to grips with the fact that, oh my gosh, this house is filled and I have to do something about it and it's up to me and mm -hmm. no one else. That is that first step. Yeah. 